protesters returned to Trump Tower for a second night. Protesters took to the streets outside Trump Tower for the second night in a row on Tuesday, as President Donald Trump visited his home on Fifth Avenue. Organizers of Tuesday's protest included immigrant advocacy groups like Make the Road New York and United We Dream. The protesters and activists said they're calling on the president to protect the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, as well as the Temporary Protection Status Program for Immigrants. Tuesday marked the five-year anniversary of when families could apply for the DACA program. Last night, thousands of New Yorkers stood outside of Trump Tower and along adjacent streets in Midtown Manhattan to protest the president's slow and tepid denouncement of white supremacist violence in Charlottesville, Virginia over the weekend. The president arrived to overwhelming chants of shame, shame, shame. Speaking from prepared remarks at the White House before boarding his flight to New York City on Monday, Trump told reporters that racism is evil and that those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. But one day later, the president reverted to his original rhetoric that both sides were responsible for the violence in Charlottesville. There was another side. There was a group on this side, you can call them the left. You have just called them the left, that came violently attacking the other group, Trump told reporters on Tuesday.